Several years ago, a professor from university visited a school math class and gave this tricky question to pupils. He wanted to find a highly talented and prospective students and hoped that kids should find an interesting way to solve it. But most of them went directly and at first they solved the first equation, writing it in quadratic way, like x to the power of 2 minus 7x plus 1 and equals to 0, found x from first equation and put it into second. The answers were right, but approach was average. So professor was a little bit disappointed. But just several minutes later, one kid made professor smile, because he found a trick way to solve this question. Let's take a look. That kid knew a formula of sum of cubes. It was his favorite formula. He knew that a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 equals to bracket a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. So, using this basic formula, we can write x to the power of 3 plus 1 divided by x to the power of 3 equals to bracket x plus 1 divided by x times x squared minus 1 and plus 1 divided by x squared. Very good. First bracket. We already know this value. x plus 1 divided by x equals to 7. But what about second bracket? Second bracket is strange, but it hints us about full square. So, let's try to write a full square with the help of two bracket. But before that, let's try a very interesting trick. After minus 1, let's plus in this bracket plus 2 and after that minus 2. With the help of that trick, we can write this bracket like x squared plus 2 plus 1 divided by x squared minus 3. And here is a full square. So, we can finally write this formula like x to the power of 3 plus 1 divided by x to the power of 3. It equals to x plus 1 divided by x times full square x plus 1 divided by x to the power of 2 minus 3. x plus 1 divided by x equals to 7. So, putting it into these products, we can finally get 7 times 7 squared minus 3 equals to 46 times 46 and it equals to 322. How do you like that? This way is much more clever than the first one. Isn't it? I hope guys you enjoyed this method. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.